Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I am super excited today because I am sitting with a couple of good friends. I have Rod and Ryan from NextSeed. Rod is a vice president based out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And Ryan is a territory manager for NextSeed based out of Alberta. And our mission today is we're talking about Alberta. We're talking about seed processing in Alberta. And we're talking about why that is such a critical conversation to be having right now and what the what what things we're learning, what things we know, and and how it's growing. And, and I just want to kick off with what has been a little bit of the history of NextSeed in Alberta? Uh, we've got a lot of friends in Alberta. We've been out there for a long time. We've got a lot of long-standing customers and you know, a lot of great relationships with the Alberta Seed Growers Group and as well as with the uh, Alberta Seed Processors Group. And, you know, they, they know us as the Kimberly Equipment guys. We're proud of how far we've come there. Now we are where we are, where, we, where we've got Ryan Floyd there as a territory manager to, to do all great things where Albertans need that uh, boot, boots on the ground type of service that is required out there. Ryan, being the guy that is responsible for taking a, a great equipment-based company and turning it into a service-based company, what does that look like for you, Ryan, in Alberta? To pull a lot from my experience of being willing to get out and work alongside our customers. So a big part of what I was doing in the first year out here was going out and helping customers and just really getting to know the equipment and just start building those relationships with guys as you know the, the representative out here that's going to come out and help you with this stuff. So Ryan, where do you see the seed processing business in Alberta going? A lot of what I've been having conversations with is, is guys that are really focused on the quality of the seed coming out, not so much putting the high volumes through. Uh, it's always been, uh, you know, a real struggle. Uh, whenever you have those, those crazy years with those, those interesting problems that, you know, you have those one in 10 year problems that seem to happen every year and, and trying to really dial in on, on getting that seed quality, the bigger, the germ really well and coming out. That's always been uh, the conversations lately and, and why guys are calling and asking about those specific pieces of equipment that are, are going to help to solve those problems for them. Well, and, and we can't really say quality uh, as it relates to seed processing without talking about color sorters. But Rod, what, where, where do you see that heading? I think a color sorter in the plant is going to be, what, what is it? Is it, is it fair to say it's almost like adding the gravity table to the plant? If this was 1987, where it's a tool in the toolbox that you're going to use every day. It seems to be happening a lot more in Alberta. I mean, they were the first to put them into the, into the seed plants. And then the rest of the, of the nation kind of caught up. 10 years ago, some of those machines went in and you know, they thought they were great then. Well, guess what, guys? What you can do with today's equipment. When your reason to put it in is for quality or for clean out or to solve a problem, it's unbelievable how much more you can do today. Ryan, what are some of those problems that you're seeing with people who are reaching out to try and solve that perhaps a, a color sorter can solve? The most prevalent one that I've had several conversations about lately has been getting wheat out of barley or barley out of wheat or, or oats. Essentially, a haul versus no haul separation to make that certified status there's so much wheat and barley growing out here that it's, it's inevitable you're going to have some contamination of some sort. So the, that's been the, the color sorter at the end to just do that last little bit of, of separation to, to really get you within those limits. Uh, that's been key. I've had, had a few guys put them in recently for that exact reason to great success and conversation with several more people really aggressively looking at it, knowing that's going to be the next step they're going to have to take. How does that process go? Somebody reaches out to you. They, they tell you they have this situation. How, like walk me through a little bit about, about how that can look and what somebody would expect from you. Usually they call me saying, Hey, I, I want a price and a color sorter. And I try to right away direct the conversation to well, what do you actually need this thing for? Um, because the price on, on a sorter can vary drastically depending on what you're after. Usually I already know what they're going to tell me. So I've, I've got a pretty good idea of what they're going to be needing to accomplish with it. And then it usually progresses to really explaining how the color sorter does what it does and, and why those specific in-gas cameras can make that separation. So really getting them an in-depth look and, a, and 
seeing what they're going to see with that machine and, and allowing them to take a look at what those separations look like through the lens of that camera. So we, we do have the ability to, to show those images to them. And that's usually every time I show that to someone, they're always like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how easy it is to, to see the difference with this camera compared to trying to do it with the 10 year old technology. You know, it's the way the camera sees it has, has changed a lot in the last 10 years. Brian, if there's one thing you'd want your customers and potential customers in Alberta to know about color sorters, and, and I know there's lots to know, what would be that one piece, that one piece of information you'd want to share on mass with them? It's an amazing tool that, you know, can solve some, some really out there problems. Uh, but day in, day out, uh, guys that have bought them and used them have told me it's it saved them so many lots of seed having that color sorter in the plant. Every one of them tells me that, you know, it, it pays for itself every year they have it because they're able to bump that quality up, save that certification, um, make sure it keeps its status and, and ultimately, you know, help them be more profitable as a business as well. So it, it's not always um, about how much you can save. Sometimes it's, you know, how much you can make with, with the right additions to your facility. Well said. Gentlemen, great to see you both. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me. My pleasure, Thank you. Take care, guys. Mm-hmm.